Dear friends of Ukraine, first of all, I wanna say thank you to all of you for your support. Every single phone call, message, post, all your actions are highly appreciated by every Ukrainian, including my family and me. For those who continue to deny or ignore the reality of the situation, I urge you to seek truth. The fact of the matter is that Russia invaded Ukraine, a sovereign and democratic nation to destroy our freedom. They have targeted and shelled civilians, including children. The people who turn a blind eye to this will have to live their lives with a shame and face the consequences of their inactions. I want to share the real picture of the situation in my country. I want to add that all of the information I provide comes from the reliable sources, like the Ukrainian Minister of Defense and confirmed by my family, friends and our people directly from Ukraine. You can find the same information yourself. The first topic is Russian army. The Russian soldiers had supplies, food, water and gas enough for three maximum four days. It tells us, it tells us that Putin expected to finish this war quickly. When they ran out of everything, the Russians were asking the Ukrainian people for food and water. Their food packages were expired since 2015. Some of their military equipment is out of date. They're hungry, they're not motivated, they're scared, and many have surrendered. The front line of the Russian Federation Army in Ukraine includes mostly soldiers from conscript military service, kids between 18 and 23 years old. Many of them didn't know where they were going to. They were told that they were going to either tactical military trainings or to free Donbass eastern part of my country. They didn't know they were going to fight in Ukraine. They weren't ready to receive orders to kill civilians. Those Russian soldiers who have battle experience, who know how to fight and who gladly carry out criminal orders are hiding behind Russian and Belarusian territory, launching destructive and deadly missile strikes on Ukrainian cities. Often they use vacuum bombs, a weapon that is prohibited by the Geneva Convention. The devastation that Russia is inflicting on Ukraine is severe, but Ukrainians will resist. Their losses. As for number, the Russian Federation lost around 9,000 soldiers in seven days. It is more than any of the other wars was Russia was involved since World War II. It includes the first Chechen War, 1994-1996, Second Chechen War, 1999-2000, Georgian War, 2008, Syrian War, 2015, and Ukrainian War, 2014-2022. In addition to that, during the last week, Russia lost 217 tanks, 900 armored, armored fighting vehicles, 90 artillery systems, 42 long-range missile artilleries, 11 anti-aircraft warfares, 30 combat planes, 31 helicopters, 374 military vehicles, 2 military boats, 60 gas tanks, 3 remotely piloted air systems, aka drones, and that number only increasing. Now about Ukrainian defense. The Ukrainian army is furiously fighting against the Russian intruders. As of now, none of the major administrative centers have been occupied. Thousands of volunteers from all over came to, uh, to the army centers and are fighting along with our army. Every third Ukrainian, including women, men and elderly people, are ready to take arms and stand against the Russian terrorists. The USA, European Union, England, Finland, Canada, and many other countries have provided us with ammunition, guns, anti-aircraft systems, anti-tank systems, long-range art artilleries, as Barakhtar and other. We have enough hands to use all of it to stop Russia. Now to those Russians who to watch this video. Stop the war your kids, your brothers, your fathers, 
are dying right now in my land. Russian army brought uh, portable crematoriums. They're burning their soldiers right over there without sending a letter to their mothers and to their families. Save them. Save my people. You still can do something. Go out in your cities. Protest. Protest against war. Protest against Putin. Protest against this madness. Don't be afraid of being in the jail for 15 days or even 15 years. Your regime is going to end and there's nothing you will be able to do soon. Now you still have time. And to my Ukrainian fellows, brothers and sisters, all world supporting you. We're sending you love, praise, prayers, and everything we can do from, from here. I'm sure a lot of Ukrainians wish they could be there with you and help you fight for the freedom, for your land, for your people. You, you proved you're stronger than everyone else. Stay strong, fight, and you will win. We believe in you. Think about the day when we all will celebrate the greatest victory in our history. Thank you. Slava Ukraini.